All right, we're back for Sunday Shave. Today we're going with a, a new one to me, and this is Torch and Crown IPA, Torch and Crown Brewing Company, and this is their almost famous IPA. Um, so they're out of New York, New York, New York City, New York right there, and um, almost famous. It says, Torch and Crown announces our presence in the hazy game with an IPA packing peach and grapefruit notes. We have a grand ambition of bringing beer right to the heart of the city. Lofty goals of brewing closer to the action than anyone ever has before. This is our first beer ever. We're almost famous, right? And it's a 6.6 uh, .6 right there. So let's crack it, get a look at the color, and then give it a taste. <clears throat> Got my IPA glass here. I'm gonna give it a little vigorous pour. So not bad. I think it has a nice um, kind of yellowish orange. I wouldn't say it's full yellow, but it's got kind of a nice bright orange color to it. Smells real good. I definitely get that citrus in the nose. Alright, so that definitely has a bright citrus top. I'm trying to find the peach. I think it's pretty subtle. I mean, there's some fruitiness to it. And I, it's good. It has like a good um, sweet fruitiness. But I'm just I'm having trouble picking out peach directly. It is good though. I'm gonna have to get some more stuff from Crown and Crane because that is pretty tasty. All right, we are using Pacific Shaving Company. And this is their caffeinated shaving cream. And <clears throat> I'm not sure if they've switched the uh, the packaging. I'm pretty sure they still have the little tubes, but the uh, the uh, labels might look different. But this is, um, it says antioxidant rich, naturally derived caffeine. And on the back, it says put caffeine on your mug, not in it. <laughs> so that's pretty funny. And you can kind of see the ingredients and their whole spiel right there. The whole reason I busted out some, uh, what are, the whole reason I busted out some Pacific shaving today is because they surprised me with this guy, Pacific Shaving Company. And this is a, uh, it's made out of cork, like a, like a wine bottle or something. It's made out of cork. And it has a nice little, maybe like 18 millimeter uh, synthetic knot that kind of looks like a best badger. And so I whipped up my lather today in this and I just figured, fuck it, might as well. I'm going to be using the new uh, Pacific Shaving brush. It's either new or coming to market soon. I can't remember. But if I'm going to be a... Uh, I'm going to be using the new brush. I might as well check out. Or I might as well bust out the old soap as well. Right? <clears throat> and so. The. Uh, I was actually quite pleased last year when Pacific Shaving did the Zoom Groom Challenge. And um, I'm sure that went over well for them. I think it was a charity type thing the uh they're raising money for charity but i'm sure as a company they got a lot of great uh exposure from it as well i know pacific shaving company wasn't even on my radar until the uh zoom groom challenge started really taking off and of course you know i got involved in it and i did my piece but I was really skeptical about Pacific Shaving Company. Um, they might not be a huge um, 
conglomerate or whatever. Like P&G and G Gillette, you know. But there's something about their polish that made me feel like, you know, they're not really about our artisan shaving community. But with the way that they handled themselves and um, they were actually quite active in that Zoom Groom challenge, like they were uh, answering questions and commenting on people's videos and social media posts and I was kind of uh it was kind of one of those moments where it was like well maybe I, I could be wrong about this one you know and <clears throat> I definitely had good interactions with Pacific Shaving Company through social media and in the comments section of my videos and so, I think, you know, I had to walk back what I said. <clears throat> so we got the Carve Shaving Company. And this is the uh, Open Comb C-Plate base plate right there. So I got the stainless steel top cap and handle. And then I got the aluminum um, base plate. And we got a brand new permasharp blade in there and this is actually my first time ever using a uh, permasharp so let's give that a go this setting the open comb C plate is my favorite uh, configuration on the carve and it's actually my uh, favorite DE razor. I just absolutely love the, uh, it's like the perfect amount of blade feel and efficiency. I just have no problems whatsoever with it. <clears throat> Now, in all honesty, I didn't use the uh, uh, Pacific Shaving Company. I didn't use it a lot last year. I only used it a few times. But you know what? Even some of my favorite gear <laughs> only gets used a few times because I always have a steady flow of new shit coming in. And I'm always trying new stuff all the time. And so that's really no knock on Pacific shaving whatsoever. But I didn't get rid of it. You know, there's something about the, uh, the ease of use when you have those, like, creams in a tube like that. And it's, it's sized appropriate for travel it's got the whole uh, 3.4 ounce thing going on so you could uh, take it on like your plane travel and whatnot and that goes for the uh, aftershave lotion as well as the shaving cream as far as the scent goes it's nothing to write home about it just kind of has like a uh, simple uh, spearmint type of scent and um, I mean which is nice it's it's a very light scent it's not it's not like bold banging in your face but since it's bright it is kind of it that spearmint note since it's kind of sharp it is there um, even though it's a light scent and I could imagine it would be really It'd be uh, really enjoyable in the morning to kind of help you uh, wake up a little bit. Uh, I had no issues whipping up the shave cream. You know, creams are 
creams in the uh, like traditional sense where they're actual like super soft those type of creams which tend to be like the uh, more mass market readily available creams because the artisan creams tend to be more like cropes but the uh, more mass mass produced non artisan stuff tends to be like this which is like super duper soft and um, what you would think of when you think of a cream but it whipped up real easy it took a good amount of water obviously it's meant to be used with a brush um, but I could I think it's brush or brushless like it's one of those where if you didn't have a brush and you just smeared it on with your hands and kind of worked in some water I think it would work just fine as well and it wouldn't be hard to whip up a lather with your hands but they're offering a shaving brush so I think they're trying to lean that direction and uh, the brush is nice it's soft I think it has a little bit of a backbone which makes it just a bit springy but it's not so much so that it won't splay easily it um like I said it has nice um, soft tips so it's not like it's not like a shitty synthetic brush I just think it's a little bit springy but like I said not uh, not to the point where it wasn't enjoyable <clears throat> I know sometimes synthetics can be springy uh, so much so that it really isn't enjoyable I mean they might whip up a lather just fine because that backbone but they don't splay easy and that you know that's just not enjoyable this one has a good amount of backbone but it's not so much so it's not so much so that you can't splay it and it's not so much so that it's um, unenjoyable and obviously 18 millimeters makes it easily Um, ready for travel it's a small brush it came in a uh, one of those cardboard tubes that some brushes come in and I think that's kind of industry standard for shaving brushes that's kind of the way it should be have some sort of tube that protects it during transit and even if you uh, if you held on to that it'd be perfect to throw in your dot bag too have that little that little tube for uh, travel give it a little bit extra protection all right that will wrap it up for the shave let me show you that little that little tube that it came in very nice <clears throat> that's what I'm talking about when I talk about kind of like the industry standard for packaging brushes it should either have one of those uh, cardboard tubes um, that will protect it a little bit from banging around or like a box with some padding you know so good packaging it's a nice little brush I think the cork kind of looks pretty cool um, but it is like a no frills shaving brush like don't don't uh, don't get it twisted it it'll get the job done I wouldn't you know necessarily consider it cheap but maybe um, you know a, a notch above a notch above like something that is cheap so not quite not quite to the mid-range but it's just like 
inexpensive, not cheap, inexpensive. That's what I'm looking for. It's like a, a, a quality, inexpensive option. That's what I'm looking for. Because it doesn't feel cheap. I just suspect that it's inexpensive, you know. And when the only thing I have to compare it to, uh, in my own experience, is like artisan, custom, you know, shaving brushes, I don't think it stacks quite up to like a mid-grade shaving brush, um, in my experience. But it's a good quality, uh, inexpensive, readily available option. And, um, I think, I think Pacific Shaving, they have kind of like, they have a spot in the wet shaving world. You know what I mean? Like, they might not be both feet in, but they have a, they have a place in the wet shaving community. <clears throat> And uh, I saw that they sent these to a bunch of the content creators and people that took part in that Zoom Room challenge. So, you know, that that's pretty cool that they just like, you know, I don't know if it was like a thank you or what, but they just like gave a bunch of people those uh, brushes. So that's, I, that's pretty cool. I appreciate that. All right. The aftershave of lotion. And uh, in the same thing, another another uh, tube here. I'm just gonna squirt a little bit onto the finger. <clears throat> but yeah, it's kind of one of those uh, situations where you, I kind of gotta like, you know, stuff a sock in my mouth because they uh, kind of proved me wrong. You know, I thought they had no presence in our little wet shaving community but it turns out they're not too big to be uh to be reached you know you're gonna talk to a person on the other side and uh pretty nice person at, at that and this little gesture that just came out of the blue or at least it came out of the blue for me i was completely unaware of this package uh coming my way the shaving brush kind of just uh, makes me think, you know, maybe I, you know, maybe I had it all wrong about Pacific Shaving Company. So, damn fine shave today. I have no problems with their products. Um, I said that last year. Still feel that way this year. The shaving cream, it's good stuff. It just works. It's simple and it, and it just works. Same with the aftershave lotion. I've used this more than the shaving cream. I've uh, just put it on just randomly after a shave just to give like a little extra moisturization and whatnot. And it's good stuff. Simple and it just works. And I, I feel the same about this uh, brush. You know, it's simple, no frills, but it ain't like a piece of shit, like a garbage cheapie. It's just, it just, it's just decent. It's a good, decent brush. All right, that'll do it for me. Perma Sharp wasn't half bad either. I'm gonna have to get a few more shaves to make up my mind about it, but it felt good. Anyhow, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all the support, and I'll catch you on the next one.